Right, hello, uh, another artist model. I will share the screen. Sharing. Okay, so what we have is, uh, here's the artist model. Uh, no name, it's just some random uh, person off um, Tumblr, and that's fine if that's what you write down in your internal for the artist model name. Uh, unknown artist from Pinterest is fine. Um, and it's a nice easy one that you guys can do at home, uh, taking shots of uh, things around your house, uh, whether that is um, trees, whether that and uh, combining that with your own picture of your own house. So let's stop sharing that one. Let's share Photoshop. Okay, so you've taken a picture of a tree. You've done it on the phone. Remember, the sunlight is behind you, and um, uh, the uh, so you get nice sunlight on your actual object. And you've taken a shot of your house, and um, same thing with your phone. And you've got the um, phone with the sun behind you, so the sunlight's on the actual object. Okay. First thing we're going to do is uh, over here, we've got the little lock symbol, unlock it. Then we go up to here, click on there, and a new layer. So it's those little lines and you've got a new layer. You grab that new layer, it's like pieces of paper, and you put it underneath. Then what you guys are doing is uh, you're going back to your picture of your tree. You select that one with the select tool, it's the second tool down, edit, copy. You go back to here, make sure you're on the gray layer there. So layer, so you make sure you stick on the right one. Edit, paste, and there's your tree underneath. If you want to see that, you can just turn the eye off underneath here. Go up to the move tool. Uh, sorry, uh, yep, move tool, and uh, then you make it bigger. Normally, you've got the little tick up here. I'm in the wrong setting, but um, that'll be fine. Uh, I can just hit enter, and it um, comes high res. All right, cool. We can move that around later because remember they're like pieces of paper. So you can uh, affect one layer and not mess with the layer underneath. So it's all good. So we're going to take up to this top layer, gray. All right, so the gray up there. So that means we work on that layer, not chopping up the tree underneath. We're going to use our polygon lasso tool. Remember the lasso tool um, normally looks like that. You hold it down and go to the polygon lasso tool. You uh, click around your objects. And I'll do the whole thing. I'm going to do it rough. You guys are going to take your time because you don't want to see me clicking and clicking and clicking. And then what you're doing is once you're back up here, you'll see the little circle comes up there on the tool. That means it's selected the whole thing. You now hit delete on your keypad and there's a big hole. So what happens is uh, to, you can play around with um, different things. So you just right mouse click to deselect that and then deselect, there you go. And because we are um, doing the whole thing of work on different layers, you can see over here, you can actually adjust one layer underneath by having it gray. And hopefully if Photoshop's not gonna be not, yep, there we go, and we can move things around. You can also make things bigger and smaller and get things how you want to do. Um, and then the next trick, so hit enter if you haven't got that little tick. And then the next trick is to do the whole thing of to uh, have to merge these layers to copy it and over onto our board. So you go up to these little lines again, and then you go merge visible. There's merge visible and you select the whole thing. It's all one layer now. Edit, copy, and you can paste it onto your board. That should be it. So if um, you guys want more tutorials, uh, email me, ask um, what artist you'd like to get done, and I can do another tutorial for that. And it's as simple as that. All right, see you guys later.